Indian writers, and you know, it was it was such great literature that I could never have been brave enough to write. Forget a book, you know. Our papers we used to sort of be hesitant before handing it in. We used to read literature all the time. We used to talk literature, and we would never think of writing ourselves. Or, or the whole, you know, the whole sort of story was that one day, one would write the great Indian novel, you know, which would be terribly tragic and terribly dark, you know, um, and hopefully it would win an award. So, but that would be many, many years away. Now, one of the fundamental shifts that happened, I think, roughly around the time when I was finishing my masters, which uh, Sharda spoke about before is that there was a huge shift in publishing. So when we look at new writing in India, we are basically marking, you know, celebrating that shift which happened when the center for English publication, the Metropolitan Center that was London and New York, that ceased to become important to Indian writers writing for Indians. So we, I think all three of us here, are beneficiaries of that shift. Essentially, when Indian writers were writing for an audience primarily abroad, the content naturally would be tailored for a Western audience. So, of course, Anandati Roy is a, is, a, is a great writer, but it would have to be a book about caste for it to win a booker. As you know with White Tiger, which was almost 10 years later, but again, a very dark book. So it won the Booker the year Slumdog Millionaire won nine Oscars, you know. The same time that the recession was ravaging the West's identity of itself. So you are students of literature, you are studying post-colonialism, you understand all these, you know, all these darker themes that were directly responsible for the publishing scene in the world. So to be um, you know, a global success, you necessarily had to be published either in London or New York, preferably both. Vikram said, for example, while a great success in England, never quite made it in America. And so he always jokes that, oh, you know, uh, uh, the reason why I'm not that, uh, that well-read in America is, uh, you know, is, is the reason he is not as well-known as, say, Amitabh Ghosh. So, the whole publishing shift that happened, uh, we have to give the devil his due. So Chetan Bhagat comes into my story at this point. I, of course, hate him, but that's a different issue. 